Wasn't preparing kids for the future one of the primary functions of education? When did we stop teaching about civics? You know, teaching about the rights and duties of citizens. When did we stop teaching kids how to function in society altogether? How did that stop being important? Now we teach kids that society is rotten to its core, and that we need to dismantle all the oppressive systems that society is comprised of. And yes, there are bad things about our core, about our roots, that we should be well aware of. But that doesn't mean that what we are today is a reflection of those bad things. We've come a long way. We're not even a tiny fraction of how oppressive we used to be. We now teach kids to be activists. We tell them why they should be angry. And all the systems that need to be dismantled, such as patriarchy and white supremacy, cis-heteronormativity, and a handful of others. We no longer teach kids how to function within those systems, how to navigate those systems, how to come out on top within those systems. We instead teach them to dismantle those systems. Yet how is that supposed to work? How is that helping them? Is it really the job of public education to teach kids how to dismantle society? How is that going to help them in the workforce? And I understand that these systems are oppressive, but all systems are oppressive. All standards, all roles, all rules are oppressive. No matter how inclusive you try to design any new standards or roles, if you're even trying to make any new standards, they're still going to be oppressive. We should really be trying to make the existing systems work for everyone and remove their negative effects as much as possible, not dismantle them entirely with nothing solid or reasonable to replace them. You know, we should declaw these systems that are oppressive, not dismantle them entirely. If a number of truly oppressive Middle Eastern countries were to suddenly become a lot more liberal in their laws, you know, they, they became a lot more socially liberal, more tolerant, and they had an amazing plethora of new freedoms, it wouldn't really matter how much time passed. It would seem very silly to expect them to dismantle their society, you know, in order to attain a hidden new set of freedoms, and then adopt a constantly shifting idea of what it means to be a moral person. Yeah, unrealistic. But yet we expect differently here, and it's just weird. So anyway, as a result of trying to virtue signal, teachers trying to virtue signal, the media trying to virtue signal, parents trying to virtue signal, we've turned children into political pawns. We don't actually care about their futures. If we did, we'd actually be trying to prepare them for their futures. When things get really bad here in the United States, which is imminent, do you think at that point that corporations or businesses of any kind are going to want to hire people who want to dismantle society? Do you think they're going to want to hire people that will almost surely be a problem in the workplace? I mean, you, we can assume that they're going to drop a lot of these departments of DEI when this happens, when things get really tough. So do you think they're going to want to hire people who they know are going to want to make a lot of demands? People who are angry all the time? People who constantly feel the need to non-consensually teach people and preach to people about things that they're really not interested in, but they have to hear because, you know. No, you, do, you don't think companies will want to hire those kinds of people at that point when those DEI departments are gone? Yeah, great job preparing kids for the future. We have utterly failed. It is likely that we're going to see some horrible human behavior over this next decade. It will likely start with needless violence, looting, and rioting. And it will ramp up via people's reactions to that behavior. When people feel strongly that all the rules are oppressive, it leaves those people with very little reason to follow any of them. Especially regarding things like theft and destruction of property. And especially when we're no longer punishing people for committing those types of crimes. We're seeing many large corporations leaving places like Portland and Chicago for these very reasons. Heck, I've seen at my local Fred Meyer here in Tacoma, people coming in with masks, trying to get all the things that they can carry in, in, in one swoop, and, you know, leaving the store while the alarms are going off. Yeah, this sort of thing is only going to get worse as time goes on. How about all of these... Uh, these sections of Walgreens that are locked up, you know, deodorant is locked up, right? Great. 
But when it comes to the eventual reactions to this type of behavior, you know, over time, and when this behavior gets worse and people want to stop it, you know, and especially when people are responding and reacting to actual violence, then eventually we're either going to have extreme authoritarianism coming from the right, or we'll watch even more standards, rules, and roles go out the window and things get even more chaotic. You know, once that ball that's rolling starts picking up speed, you know, the ball that disregards standards, roles, and rules, then the only way to stop that is with extreme force. We can hope it doesn't have to go there, and that we actually get some sanity before that ball starts picking up speed, but I don't have much faith in humanity in those areas. I think our desire to turn children into political pawns for virtue signaling purposes will turn out to be one of the biggest reasons why all this stuff is happening. But I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong on all of this. I sincerely do. I just see some rough times ahead. I'm, I'm sure we'll get through it, but man, it, it might be a decade or two decades for us to get through this rough period. We'll see what happens, though, you know. Surprise me. Surprise me with something nice, right? Let's see. Thanks for watching.